Thursday morning about 9 o'clock they moved the car and loaded it last night and I just did a quick fluff and buff on in here and then go ahead and put the final load in. This is all our rolling stock. Uh, in the garage, all the stuff that I'm putting on right now I have to take back off when we get to the track. This guy right here, um, this is all our options and spare parts for the particular car we're carrying this week. Uh, a couple extra sets of side skirts, a couple extra pack bars, uh, backup set of brakes, and all sorts of plumbing and, and fixtures, and just everything we might need.
Okay, so this uh, cabinet, right, this is a, this cart, okay, that cart was designed and built specifically to fit in this space, okay, it grounds on the back wall and the front wall, and one strap right there, pulling it a diagonal holds it in. Uh, as you can see, we've got spare brakes, spare axles. We've got a couple of options for the aero package. These are, yeah, there's just a, a pile of stuff in here. Go to this little roller door here. Oh, come on. And on to the next piece, which is our cooler. This is our cooler, full of ice and water and Gatorade and soda.
Alright, so the truck has got two of these tracks right here on the floor. And once we position our cargo, we install these little rings right here. This is called the airline track. Um, if you've ever flown in a commercial airliner, look down on the floor, this stuff is what your seat is mounted to. They use uh, similar fittings to hold the seats in. I'm just going to wrap one strap around that. And this primarily just keeps the thing from flopping um, forward and aft. Okay, and now while we're here, all right, so that's how that's secured, and then it grounds on the door over there for your lateral. We're going to go ahead and put a ring right about, yeah, right about there for the next piece. The next piece will roll right into this space right here. got the rings up there so now we need a strap. Grab a strap. And then seeing as the next piece after this requires a chalk, we're going to get two of these which are just two of those rings that have been butchered. Oh and one thing I forgot to mention, we use this product in our cooler. Uh, just started using it and so far seeing some very positive results. Temperatures inside the cooler get lower, and the ice seems to not melt as fast. Um, essentially, it's rock salt, but it's got some other stuff in it, and I'm really impressed with how it works. All right, so now. Yeah. And this this one grounds against the front wall. In order of providing with this strap, it's going to be aft restraint with a little bit of lateral. strapped in. Now what we're going to do is put this in the airline track like that. That in the airline track like that. And then this is just a four inch piece of angle aluminum which engages like that. Okay. And that forms a chalk. And the next piece will that forms the forward restraint for the generator. This being the generator. <coughs> Come on. There. There. Y'all probably get the motion set. I'm just going to sit y'all here. I'm kind of starting to get the gist of, of 
of how all this works. I'm going to use the chalk in the front, another strap in the back. Okay. And because there's another chalk right here, I'm going to put that puppy right there and two pieces for it right there. Okay. So. Toolbox will rest against that one. And we still got eight minutes. Let's see if I can get that in before we all run out of time here.
Whoops. This damn thing actually weighs more than the race car. And it's a bear. It goes in just like that. And then we're going to wedge it in. With another chuck. Alright, and that's that for, uh, stay tuned for part two.